Yo, what's up, dude? What's up? Haven't seen you in a little bit. Back on here with a new guitar. For 2021, we have the Vola. Uh, Oz, O-Z, R-O-A. For roasted maple, because it has a roasted maple neck on it. Now, you may have seen my, the other... Not my, but the other um, Oz ROA that I had here with the black top. That was from last year. Uh, a little different. We'll go over the differences between the 2020 and the new 2021. Um, <clears throat> this is not uh, hazy. It's got the plastic on it. Do I dare take the plastic off? Suppose I could. Kinda. Oh, oh. Here we go. Now it's going. We're we're pulling it. It's an old-fashioned plastic pull. Here we go. Now you can see what it looks like. It does look a little hazy. I feel like you're not seeing what the what what it really looks like. See, it really it really looks like that. You see that? It, it, it does sort of change the vibe of the guitar. People are like, why are they hiding that gorgeous wood under a pickguard? I'm like, oh, are we talking about the same pickguard? <laughs> uh, I don't know if you noticed, but it's crystal clear. Um... And the reason why they do it is because they want to keep that gorgeous wood gorgeous. And they so they, they cover it up with a pickguard right there. Plus it, you know, gives it a classic, classic look more than I, I'd say. If they took it out, it'd have a more modern look to it. But the pickguard adds a certain air of vintageness. Check out the, the back here. I don't know if I can show you this in this other cam. You can see the mahogany. See that right there? Beautiful mahogany. Um, when I got it, the first thing I said is, wow, it's a lot lighter mahogany. Whatever mahogany they're using, a lot lighter, but I found out it's weight relieved. That's the difference. So we'll throw it on the scale. And we'll see the difference between the two, but it's noticeably lighter. I, I wouldn't, let's take your bets right now. I'm going to say it's a pound lighter. It's at least a half a pound. I'm going to go maybe a pound lighter. It's um, it's noticeably lighter. Uh, roasted maple neck, uh, locking vintage uh, style tuners, um, you know, uh, single, single, double. Uh, the other thing is, is this switch here. Let me see if I can, hold on. I'm getting my foot dangled up here. Here we go. You see this switch right here? All right. That's the coil cut switch. So when you're... White coil cut, two coils, one coil. Right? You can hear the difference. Uh, they changed the orientation of that switch. I like it uh, like this. And um, I, I think I'd, I'd change it on my other one, right? Although I think I'm going to send that back to them and they're going to send me a different guitar but um i like the side to side versus the up and down uh, it's easier to, to use right side to side it really is so um i like that again if you're in the if you're in the front all the way up here position two
middle position. Uh, position two. Position two with coil cut. I mean, coil cut off. And then bridge. Bridge coil cut. I do like these guitars. So Bobby was over the other day, and I said, "Oh, dude, check out the check out the new Vola." He um, uh, he had just got a new Jackson, a Sparkle Jackson, gorgeous guitar. He was showing me that, and I said, "Oh yeah, I got something new here. Check this out. I got this new Vola." And he was picking it up. He's like, "Man, he goes, this neck is like so easy to play." I'm like, "Right." <laughs> He's like, Man, <laughs> I think he was a little smitten with the Vola. Um, and uh, he, he actually tried the other one out, too. In fact, well, we can we can get them both here. We'll, we'll, we'll take a, a, a comparison look here. And um, he was like, yeah. He's like, I... He goes, the necks are the same, he said, but definitely it's more weight relieved on this, on this new one, uh, this one here versus the old one. Um, all right, let me... Let me go to a little different sound here. I, I purposely set up a couple of really basic sounds. Like this is just a just a basement. If anything, the volume's a little low here. Let me uh, let me raise the out point. The uh, yeah. Much more. And then here. Really hear the coil cut there. Position two. Uh, middle position. Um, position uh, four, darkest, right? It's all up, and then and then here's a, a very similar thing where I just have um, a little tweed amp, and that's it. have the volume really low. Let me just bring that up. Again, that's the neck. That's a single coil. Takes out some of that mid-range. Uh, and then here it is. Really loud. much all the positions all the positions well most of them and what's this kind of a bluesy
Yeah. Yeah. I love the Volta stuff. All right, let me go grab the one from last year. And uh, we'll just quickly go over the difference between the 2020 and the 2021. See you in a sec. Yo, all right, so we're back. I just wanted to do a quick compare between the 2020 uh, model right here and the 2021 model right here, all right? The big difference between the two that you're going to notice immediately is the weight difference. Uh, over eight pounds for the original, a, a little over six pounds, right? They shave off, let me just take a look here. I just took the measurements. Um, yeah, you're looking at 8.3 pounds for the old one, for last year's model. And uh, 6.1 pounds for the new one. So a 2.2 pound difference, just about a kilogram difference, right? 2.7 kilograms for the new one, 3.7 kilograms for the uh, old one. And I wonder if that's what they were shooting for, a one kilogram of relief, because that seems to be what it is. And you can notice one kilo uh, pretty quickly as soon as you pick it up. Uh, like I said, Bobby was over here and uh, he noticed it um, immediately. Uh, they have the same uh, pick guard and uh, pickups, single, single, double. These are all Vola in-house pickups, wonderful sounding pickups. Uh, same here. Uh, the same um, bridge, these are Godo, I believe. Uh, the same roasted uh, maple neck here and here. Stainless steel frets? No. No stainless steel on these. So uh, just know that. And um, the other thing, as I had mentioned before, is the switch. If you notice on the new one, the switch goes side to side. But on, the, on last year's model, the switch goes uh, up and down, right? It's uh, vertical versus, um, versus horizontal. And uh, I, I like the new one better. I, I really do. Uh, last thing to show you, uh, same tuners, uh, same neck profile, uh, pretty much the same guitar. Really, the big thing is the weight and the for in terms of like how it feels, the weight and that switch change, which is noticeable. The other big thing I'd like to to, to show you is the difference in the case. So this is last year's case, right there. It's a thick padded heavy duty case you know silk screen actually it's a stitched stitching stitched case All right nice stuff but check out this year check that out it's like a full on um It's like a full-on, what do they call that, like a foam bag? You know what I'm saying? It's got the walls to it. And the, the neck, I don't know if you can see the, the neck profile here, but it's, it's enormous. Right? It's this giant, and then it has these flaps that hold it down. Right? So you put the, you put the neck in there, and you run these flaps over it. You see that? I don't know if it's coming out on camera, but... So I would, I would say definitely, definitely a big improvement, you know, over the prior case. If I could <laughs> work my way out here, um, without a doubt. So again, 2020 model, 2021 model. So 2021 is looking up already. <laughs> um, and and they, they're both um, uh, back, backpack style, right? Over the shoulder backpack. So not one shoulder strap, but two. Um, and that's about it. Those are really the main differences.
Uh, I really just wanted to, to, to compare them uh, together for you. Actually, before we go, let me just look up the name of this color. Um, this is the Vola. Let's see here. That is the Vola Oz. All right, that's the shape. Um, ROA, that's the roasted maple. SFB. Did I just get a signature model? Greg, hey. So, uh, got the new, got the new Oz here. Yeah. No, no, yeah, it showed up. You know, it's looking good, but I, uh, you know, I just want to say thanks. I, I'm a little stunned. No, I, I know, no, it, lo it looks good. No, it looks good. I'm just saying, you know, with the, you know, with the whole signature thing. The guitar. SFB. Sanded, faded blue. Sure. Sure. No, no. No, no, no. No, no. No, of course not. No, no, don't. No, I know. No, you're good. Everybody's good. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm literally shooting the video right now. All right, <laughs> I'll let you go. Later, man. It's not a signature. All right, dudes, well, there you have it. The new Vola Oz ROA SFB. Though not what I had hoped it would be. It's her sanded faded blue. Did I just get a signature model? No. No. So close. Not really. Anyway. As always, I'll leave a link in the description. Check out more. And, uh, there you have it. Thanks for hanging out and rock on.